Hello there, how's it going? Today's video, as you can guess, is all about sherried whiskies or whiskies that have been either matured or finished in sherry casks or sherry seasoned casks. Now, the difference between a sherry cask or sherry seasoned cask, we will get into later. First and foremost, what is sherry? Sherry is a fortified wine that can only come from the Jerez region of Spain. There are almost a dozen odd varieties of sherry ranging from pale, light and dry Fino to a dark, syrupy and sweet Pedro Jimenez. Most sherries are usually on the drier side with the sugar content in them ranging from 0 to 5 grams per liter. Classic examples being Fino and Oloroso. And at the other extreme end of the spectrum is something like a Pedro Jimenez where the sugar content per liter could be anything upwards of 200 grams. It's this sweetness from a PX Sherry that lends sweet and rich notes of dried figs, prunes and raisins to a whiskey that has been either matured or finished in a PX cask. Two of the most popular styles of sherry used in the whiskey industry are PX which is on the sweeter side and Oloroso which is on the drier and nuttier side. What is the difference between a sherry matured whiskey and a whiskey that has been finished in sherry cask? Well, a sherry matured whiskey spends entire time in a sherry cask or a sherry seasoned cask while the whiskies that are finished in sherry cask typically spend about 6 to 24 months in a sherry cask or a sherry seasoned cask. How did sherry cask become part of the Scotch whisky industry? Historically, Great Britain has been a massive consumer of sherry. In fact, centuries ago, barrels of sherry would be shipped to the ports of Bristol and Liverpool and they would be disgorged and bottled. So what happens after all the sherry has been bottled from these barrels? Enter the whisky industry. These barrels deemed useless would be used by the whisky distillers in Scotland. Fast forward to the 21st century with the strict Spanish laws around sherry coming only from Jerez region of Spain and the massive demand for Scotch whisky means there aren't enough barrels for a whisky to be matured or finished in sherry casks. Enter sherry season casks. For a cask to be called sherry season cask it must comply with certain regulations for starters it must be filled at least 85 percent with certified sherry wine made by the suppliers registered with the local sherry regulator and the barrel must hold the wine for at least one year however while these rules are very recent there are no regulations about the age of sherry that should be used or if a sherry can be reused or how the cask must be transported to Scotland. So, what is the difference between a sherry seasoned cask and X sherry barrels? Well, as the name makes it slightly evident for you guys, a sherry seasoned cask is a cask that has been seasoned with sherry typically for anything between one to three years. So what is an X sherry cask? Well, X sherry cask is something that has previously held sherry which it has been used for maturation of sherry which could be anything from a px to oloroso to a fino amontillado a sherry season cask is built primarily for the usage in the whiskey industry it has been seasoned with a sherry for anything between one to three years and the macallan distillery is one of the finest examples all the macallan whiskies are aged or finished only in sherry season cask macallan doesn't use anything that is ex sherry given the strict laws around sherry in spain there aren't enough casks that are being shipped to uk the use of sherry seasoned cask is a massive industry the number of casks that are being seasoned with sherry for eventual use in the whiskey industry far out number of casks that are actually holding sherry for production of sherry in spain at any given point in time there are close to 100,000 casks that are being seasoned with sherry for use at the Macallan distillery. However, if we move on to something like a Glen Farkless, Glen Farkless only uses X sherry casks. X sherry cask has been used previously to mature sherry in Spain. Which are the whiskies producing some of the finest sherry drams? Top of the list has to be Macallan. If you're a fan of sherry whiskies, your collection will not be complete without a bottle of Macallan. However, if you cannot afford a Macallan, don't worry. There are ample sherry drams out there that are absolutely delectable and they don't burn a hole in your wallet. Starting 
from Glendronach to Glendronach Distillery has to be one of the most underrated distilleries that makes exceptional whiskies. And we as fans of whiskies have no complaints about it whatsoever because this 18 year old is one of the finest sherry drams and yet it doesn't cost a bomb. And the Abalawa Distillery, which is part of the Perno Rica group, is renowned for a unique double maturation process and it produces one of the finest cast strength sherry whiskies under the name Abunna. Move over to Glen Farkless, right? Another distillery, it's one of the very few family owned distilleries in Scotland. In fact, since 1983, the Glen Farkless has been using only Oloroso sherry casks and they make some of the finest sherry drams out there. The Glen Farkless 15 year old is an all time favorite for us. We have Talmor, we have some fine whiskey coming from Tamdu Distillery and the use of sherry cask is not restricted to the Scotch whiskey industry. In fact, now with the growing popularity of sherry drams, you have exceptional sherry whiskies coming from Japan, Taiwan, India, and a lot of sherry casks are being used in the bourbon industry as well. So now that you know a bit about sherry, different styles of sherry cask used in the whiskey industry and their influences on the flavor of the whiskey, here are some of the easily available sherried whiskey to start adding to your collection. Glen Farkless, 15 year old. Glen Jonak, 15 year old. Abulawar Abunna, a fabulous cast strength sherry dram. Glen Morangi, La Santa. Kavalan, Solest, Fino Sherry. Glen Aliki, 12 year old. Let us know your favorite style of sherry and sherried whiskies in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Cheers.